there were two friends named Gwen and July. They had been best friends right from childhood. They practically grew up together. They attended the same high school and eventually graduated, and they both went to the same college. Their two families were close too, and they were aware of how close the two were. Gwen had two brothers, and she was the only daughter to her parents. July, on the other hand, was the only child to her parents. The two families were very financially stable. Gwen's parents were both bankers, while July's father was an engineer, and her mother was a housewife. Gwen was more on the wild side, while July was the calm and quiet one. July was often bullied in school because of how quiet she was, but Gwen always had her back. She could never let anyone bully her best friend. The two were so close that people often mistook them for sisters. The two friends were both brilliant and always scored high grades, but July was a bit more intelligent than Gwen. This didn't matter to them. Whenever Gwen had any issues in a subject, July was always there to help. It was their final year in college. Gwen was studying to become a banker, just like her parents, while July wanted to become a lawyer. They both planned to attend the same school for their master's program. One day, the students were called to the principal's office. When they got there, the principal asked them to sit down. He then said, Gwen and July, I am happy to tell you that you both are being considered for a fully paid scholarship in the country's best university. But sadly, only one of you would be picked. You are to write a test next week to determine who gets the scholarship. Gwen and July happily listened, thanked the principal, and left the office. When they got home that day, they both decided to talk about it before telling their parents. They both wanted the scholarship, and so decided to firstly write the exams and then decide what to do with it. They told their parents, and they were really happy for them, but were also a bit worried. They knew that this could affect their friendship. They both wrote the exams and were awaiting the results. A day to the date, the results were to be released. They were asked to write a letter on why they want the scholarship and what they would do with it if they were chosen. During all of this, Gwen was extremely nervous and scared. She knew that July was more brilliant than her and must have passed her in the test. She felt that July was given the scholarship. She would take it and abandon their friendship. She studied more than usual and gave her best in the exams. In the letter, she promised that if she was given the opportunity, she would strive to be a perfect, an exemplar student of their school. She wrote that she would only accept the scholarship immediately, that she had always wanted to study in the school. It was the day of the release of the results. Gwen was constantly checking for new emails. She was very nervous about the results. She badly wanted to win the scholarship. July, on the other hand, didn't look worried. It was 9 p.m. in the night when Gwen received an email. She had won the scholarship. She immediately accepted it. She was very happy. She later told her parents, and they were also happy for her. Her mother asked, Sweetheart, have you told July? She simply nodded. She lied. She knew she hadn't told July, but she didn't want to dwell on the thought. Two weeks later, Gwen had been distancing herself from July. July wondered what she did wrong. One day, she went to the house to confront her. When she got to Gwen's house, she met Gwen's mother. Her mother hugged her and suddenly started confronting her about the scholarship. She was confused at first until she mentioned that Gwen had gotten the scholarship. July was hurt. She was happy for her best friend, but she was hurt. Gwen never told her that she won the scholarship. She wondered if that was why Gwen had been avoiding her, and then she got angry. She shouldn't avoid her for something like that. When Gwen got home, she met July in her room. July looked angry, so she figured that she must have found out about the scholarship. July asked Gwen why she hadn't told her, and Gwen replied rudely didn't ask. July was surprised by this rude response. She didn't think much of it though. She then asked, so what did you do? Did you accept it? Gwen laughed and responded, of course, why wouldn't I? July was hurt by this. What are our plans? You're going to just abandon them like that? Gwen shook her head and replied, wouldn't you have done the same thing if you had won the scholarship? I studied hard and so I deserve it. July was disappointed at her friend and said, no, I wouldn't have. If I'd won, I'd plan to share it with you 50-50. I even wrote that in my letter. I didn't want to get separated from you. She walked away after saying this. Gwen was surprised at what her friend had just said. She felt bad and regretted her actions. Three years later, the two were doing well. Gwen was working in a good bank, while July was a successful business lawyer. 
but their friendship never remained the same. Gwen had lost to true friends. The most important part of all relationships is trust. Don't be like Gwen. The moment you start doubting that person, there is trouble. Lack of trust leads to doubt, and this is the downfall of most relationships. Learn to trust. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe to see more from me.